I just wiped my clay. So here we go. Let's give it a go. I'm going to keep my clay dry, I mean moist. While I'm working, I'm going to throw it into my little Tupperware bin over here and close it up. So while I'm working on my monkey face, I'm going to keep my shell nice and um, closed up in a Tupperware. You don't have to Tupperware, you can um, get like a piece of wet cloth or plastic. Plastic's better because it'll hold in the moisture, but you can also do a wet cloth and throw it over top or get like some saran wrap or throw it in a Ziploc bag. In order to keep it moist on the wheel, I'm going to take my little bucket of water over by the wheel, so I'll keep it moist with my little bucket of water and my sponge. So you're going to want one of those. All right, meet you over at the wheel. So before throwing it on the wheel, we are going to want to press it into a nice round sphere. So we're going to take the wet clay ball and we're going to pat into a sphere and we're going to try and get it as symmetrical as possible. So this is the first step before throwing the clay on the wheel. So just patting into a close to a sphere as we can get it. I think that looks pretty good. Then we're going to wet the board a little bit here. I don't want it super wet though, so I'm going to soak up some of it. It's not quite as damp. Next step is to slam into our wet clay that has been turned into a sphere onto the board, or onto the wheel. <laughs> and then we're going to try and center it as much as possible. So it's directly in the center of the wheel. Now, I am going to go grab some clay to make some slips. So I grabbed a nice little chunk of clay that I'm going to throw into the water heater and make some slips. I'm going to throw my sponge up here. So slip is a combination of water and clay. And um, it, you know, when you're working on the wheel, it tends to be a, a little bit more of a, it makes things a little easier. So it doesn't, things don't get as messy and it makes things a little bit more manageable on the wheel when you're working with the clay as opposed to just going in with straight water. So I'm going to create my slip here by massaging the clay in the water until all of my clay has dissolved into the water and I've created this like thick uh, mixture of like clay and water. like a little 
filling line that is not going to allow any water to slip underneath my piece here. Now, <clears throat> just need it going at a slow pace. It doesn't really need to be going too fast. And now we've created that nice um, edge along the bottom to create that seal so that way no water is slipping underneath. Now I'm going to let my hands a little bit more and we're going to go into our next step which is called coating. So I'm going to take my right hand and place it at the bottom and I'm going to take this arm and I'm going to really wedge it into, I'm going to scoop my shirt. I'm going to wedge it into my, my side hip right here, right? And I'm going to use my wheel at quite a fast speed to start wetting my hands and my clay. Oh, so yeah. Wetting the hands in the clay first with the slip. And then we're going to start to cone it. by pulling up I'm doing it right, we're gonna keep going. the lower bottom of the left thumb to press 
down and start bringing it down. Because of the bottom of the right hand being in place and locked in with the right hip, that clay is going to have no nowhere to go but down. Okay? And here we go. Let's get up. My hand's a little bit wet. And here we go. So locking that elbow in place. Pushing down and toward the right hand with the left, bottom of the left thumb. That's good. Yeah, that's working. Here we go. Oh. <sighs>